Nagorno Karabakh. So are you from or talking from your home? Yes, I just arrived yesterday from Yerevan. I had a long trip of four countries. Yes. And uh-huh. yeah, now I am at home and <laughs> taking part in this interview. So, is it uh, do you live with your family or do you live alone? Yeah, I, I live with my family in Moscow. Moscow. So, your parents and brother and sister, do you have a No, no, I'm alone. <laughs> One child. Oh, you're the only sister. You're the only child. Yes. Oh, so your your parents must be like uh, very proud of you, eh? very much. <laughs> So. Yeah, so is, is your parents, are they musicians? My mom is a viola player, she also graduated from the Moscow Conservatory, uh, and my dad yeah. is architect. So we have such an art Oh, family. it's a very artistic family. So does your mother play for an orchestra or she's a soloist? No, uh, she has a private students and yeah. sometimes she teaches. But now she doesn't play because she's like my manager now. <laughs> she doesn't have so oh, much time. Oh, I see. Yeah, but ah, oh, so when she has time, she takes private lesson at home. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so of course, since you come from a very artistic family, you start the piano naturally, right? Your mother. Yeah. Um, you did choose violin or viola. I was actually thinking about starting to play uh, violin and I asked, asked my yeah. mom to buy me a small violin but when yeah. she did it I you know I broke the strings on the violin because I oh. turned a lot these things and <laughs> strings were broken so my mom yeah. said now only piano <laughs> okay oh I see yeah, yeah, yeah. but I love oh, violin okay. also so much yeah. but I started to play piano and after that, I decided to uh, become a musician. So, were you born in Armenia or you in Moscow? You, you, were you born in Moscow? Yeah, I'm born in Moscow, but I'm half Armenian because my father is Armenian. Yeah, yeah. so, um, talking about Armenia, uh, was Hakaturian Armenian? Sorry? <laughs> Hakaturian, the composer, Hakaturian. Ah, yeah, 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 I believe yeah, it. He's Armenian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So do you play some, do you like his pieces? Do you play any of his Hachaturian pieces? Yeah, I played uh, Lulibai by Hachaturian. I loved it so much. Lulibai, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, so at home, um, um, I don't know, the language, the Ar- is Armenian language similar to Russian? It's a, is it very to similar? To be honest, I know only a few sentences on Armenian, so uh, I must uh, learn it more. Uh, yeah. Yes, but I think it's not quite similar. It's different languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. So, um, well, I, I, of course, I saw a lot of your in, in, um, video uh, performing in Chopin competition. Not only Chopin competition, in the Dan Bagnaver competition. I think everyone is impressed. First of all, your fantastic. Performance, but you appear in such a, like a mer- mermaid long hair. <laughs> Thank you. And since when do you have such long hair? I actually love long hair, and of course, it's quite hard to brush them or yeah, uh, yeah take a shower. But uh, at the end, I love uh, them, and I don't want to cut them. <laughs> yeah. Since when did you have so long? Ah, since, like since seven when? years old. Uh, actually, I didn't cut them uh, so much, uh, so yeah. I think from my childhood I had long hair and yeah. if I cut them only a few centimeters, so not so much. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, um, like, since you're six or five, you had very long hair. Uh, not very, but yeah, quite long. <laughs> yeah, so does your mother cut or you go to hairdresser or you cut yourself? No, I go to a uh, hair... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when you wash your hair, do you wash like this or it goes so heavy? <laughs> it depends, right? it depends. I can do like this and like that also. <laughs> like this, yeah. Or even like a Romeo and Juliet, you know, you it's a, like a ladder, you know. <laughs> yeah. Very romantic. Thank yeah. you. Thank and you. When you play, you always have like a ponytail. Yeah, because yeah, it's more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So also, uh, that is very impressive. You have the mermaid hair, and uh, 
all the dresses you're wearing at Sopenko Village was very impressive. Thank My you. favorite was like that, where you had a, like a purple dress and here uh, they had like an embroidery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, and, this dress was also, sorry, sorry. Actually, this dress was designed by my professor so she, oh. she created the design and uh, we did this dress and uh, now what's her name Turil? Turil? yeah Natalia your Turil. professor Natalia Turil. Yeah, Natalia Turil. yeah because uh, I like her also when I was listening to your performance also I listened to your teacher's performance oh, nice. but, uh, 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 Natalia and uh, she's very also a masculine figure like the sometimes very energetic Strong. and that kind of character is i think uh, similar to your performance so i think you would you're also very influenced by her teaching and her performance also right yeah, of course. yeah like also i heard your teacher uh, bring prokofiev third and she's a very i'm sure she's a very good professor but also a very good yeah, artist yeah, yeah. as a pianist it's yeah, true. so I think it's very lucky. To, you're lucky to have such a, a, you know, not only a good teacher, but a good, a good advice from a performer. Yeah, it's a very important. And I'm very glad yeah. that I'm in her class. You know, she's mm. incredible, mm. not only like artist and teacher, she's also incredible like a person because she, yeah. she's like my second mom. She tells me yeah. everything. What should I do? What should I wear? And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think that's very important because some people, um, I mean, some good teachers, they don't perform, but they just teach you. But she has experienced in herself uh, on the stage. So even when she designed the dress, I'm sure she knows which is comfortable yeah. and also which is impressive for the uh, for the audience. Yeah. So the purple one was, I was, oh, what a lovely dress. And it was one with like a black and white, um, like a yeah, embroidered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black and white, okay. uh, you know, yeah, uh, the skirt, and here up the, the top is like black. Ah, All yeah, the dresses yeah. was good, <laughs> yeah, and also the red one with a long uh, dress, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And all the dresses I was very impressed. Thank you. So it's all of them, your Natalia, she designed for you. Not all, but yeah, the last one, like a uh, uh, black one, and this purple is by her, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, you, Natalia, how old, how old is Natalia now? Uh, is she like uh, your, the your mother? 65, Natalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, because I knew her name from a long time ago. And uh, now, when I was uh, looking at your performance, I discovered she was your teacher. And, oh, no wonder she's a very good performer even now. So, she would give you a very good advice uh, mm -hmm. as a, you know, as a yeah. performer. Yeah. So, did you decide to study with her? You decided to study with her or somebody advised you to study with her? Uh, actually, I studied uh, with another teacher yeah, under uh, under 13 years old. And yeah. uh, it was Kira Shashkina, a teacher of Mikhail mm -hmm. Glednyov. She was also amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, she was quite... Uh, in age, quite old, and she. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, what's her Kira, name? Kira Shashkina. 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 Oh. Yeah, and uh, so she left the school, and um, we were hmm. thinking where should, with whom should I study, and I came yeah. to Natalia for lesson, and <laughs> I realized that Natalia is great teacher, a great performer, so I decided to study with her. It, it was really, you know, immediate uh, love from the first sight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she lives in Moscow? Yes. Also. yes. Uh, so like, um, usually, do you have like a once a week lesson with her? No, when I have a competition, she can give me yeah. lessons like every day if I need it. So every day, not 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 all the time, of course. Sometimes she is so busy, and I have lesson once a week. But uh, usually, if I prepare for something, uh, she gives me lessons uh, how I want, how she wants it. It's incredible because we don't have like strict schedule. If I need lesson, she <laughs> gives me lesson, and it's nice. Uh, very nice. <laughs> oh, I see. Ah, and you know, actually, one of my favorite 
piece uh, of you performing was the shunitsuke, the piano oh, yeah. for the old, uh, yeah. yeah. I learned it, it. I learned it for one or two weeks, like like that. <laughs> oh, oh, that piece was incredible, and I didn't know that piece. I knew I knew it in shunitsuke, but I didn't know that piece existed. Mm-hmm. But I thought that piece was incredibly attractive, yeah, I and like I think it. you played it wonderfully. Did you want to play it yourself, or did they ask you to play that piece? Yeah, I was asked like about one and a half week ago, uh, before before the concert, and. Um, yes. I was a little bit shocked because I've never played Schnitke, but when I oh, listened no. to the recordings, I thought that oh. I need to play it because I love this concerto, and mm. uh, I learned it, and I learned it very fast because I liked the music, yeah. and uh, mm. it was an incredible concert in Krasnoyarsk with National uh, oh. Harmonic Orchestra of Russia and Maestro yes. Vladimir Spivakov. It was unforgettable. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You played a lot with uh, him, a lot of um, yeah, concerts. Yeah, he's, he's a very great artist and I'm, I'm so grateful that I know him. Yeah. Uh, and she, uh, he does a lot for me and for uh, young musicians like me. Yeah, he's a Polish also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, he plays the yeah, violin also. One, uh, he used yeah. to, yeah. Because when I lived in Spain when I was a child, I used to listen to so many concerts of him as a violinist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so now he's more maybe conducting, but before I think he was playing more violin, right? Yeah, he is an incredible musician. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Shunitko, especially the beginning, it begins with like a simple scale, right? Yeah. Is that this is like very mysterious and I wow oh, and I, I just wondered maybe I want you to play the more of these contem- contemporary composers. Uh, Are you interested? Yeah, I'm very interested actually. Uh, I, I love Schmidt mm. so much. And on the Clyburn I played uh, uh, modern music by composer William Balcom. I played his yeah. attitude and I really feel a very very me as a modern music. Mm-hmm. So I want to mm-hmm. learn more. Mm-hmm. So you're 17 now, right? 18. 18? I, I turned 18, 18. Uh, yeah, uh, at 15th of April. <laughs> so. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, yeah, 18. So you are still in high school now? Yes, I'm finishing my high school and after I go to the conservatory. So in, um, it will be your high school finished in August? I finished my in high school summer. high school in June. Oh, in June, so it is yeah. next month already. Yes. <laughs> so, what, which what kind of high school do you go now? It's like a girls' high school, mixed. Uh, mixed. No, it's it's mixed. It's central central music yeah. school by Moscow Conservatory, and we have all subjects there together, like ordinary subjects and musical, and it's very uh-huh. comfortable because mm-hmm. it's everything in one building. Yeah, so I go there, and now I'm finishing. All of these students are musical. They yes. uh, they major in music. Yes. Oh, I see. But of course, you learn languages. You learn like history yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah. What is your like a favorite subject from the high school? Are you interested in any kind of? Uh, to be Speciality. honest, I don't go to high school so often. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't have so much time. But maybe oh. maybe music literature. Now, yeah. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I don't know English also. <laughs> English, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you speak um, other languages? Do you learn other languages? Now I learn Spanish because I, I like it oh, so Spanish. much. Yeah. I, I know a little bit of German because I learned it. Yeah. Yeah, but and al- also I want to learn Armenian because I'm half Armenian. It's very important yeah. to me. Yeah. And yeah, 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 I love learning languages actually. Yeah, because I think Armenia, I like Hajaturian very much in this kind of special harmony yeah, that he yeah, creates yeah, yeah, yeah. in your music, and it's like a very folklorist yeah. thing, right? Yeah. So, yeah, he's opera and it's a very attractive. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. And, uh, and apart from, um, so you, you must practice so many hours every day? <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. Like eight hours, sometimes ten? Uh, before competition, yes, but now I'm quite a. Uh, 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 do you practice at home or at the conservatory? Yeah, 
at home. Uh, you know, because I have a neighbors uh, who is not so yeah. happy with my music <laughs> because uh, yeah, oh, okay. I, I play so loud <laughs> and yeah, I can't play at um, weekends at and, night. At, and also, I oh, wait, yes. can cannot play from nine uh, a.m. till uh, uh, and after nine uh, p.m. And uh, I can't play from one to three. Like it's uh, sleeping hours. Oh, uh, like a siesta. They make. Oh, Wait, are they old people? Maybe old couple or something? Your neighbor? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I try to practice at least five six hours per day. Oh, I see. Uh, so, um, apart from practicing, but of course, maybe since your father is an architect, your the conversation at home must be very artistic. You know? Maybe you must make you may compare like a musical piece as an architect. Yeah, it's no? quite common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about mm -hmm. that because you know every classical piece has its structure, its form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's quite yeah. similar to architecture. <laughs> Yeah. Well, is, is there yeah, do you like any favorite? Do you have any favorite architect? To be not honest, I I don't know so much. But uh, yeah, when I was young, I watched how my dad is working, and I was so amazed how you know it's like a piano. You you need to do every every note, every piece very very how to say uh, very clear and you can't do any mistakes yeah it's so magical process you know <laughs> and your hands are very big not that uh, maybe fingers like i have long fingers, yeah, long fingers huh? yeah but this this part is quite small you know ah so, it's true it's true yeah yeah, yeah. The, the palm is not much but your fingers are very big. and how tall are you i'm very very small i'm uh 60 oh, how to say 163. 160? <laughs> oh, yeah. so, oh, like me, I'm 165, so uh, more or less the same. <laughs> but yeah, so your, your the, the fingers are very long, so like playing the rough mind of the chord is so easily, right? You can play easily. Uh, thanks, God. <laughs> yeah. So, do you, so the Natalia, she also gives you the, she chooses the repertoire for you, for example, for the competition, you know, which is a good piece for you she gives advice yes yes she gives so many advices but i also sometimes choose a piece and if mm. if she thinks that i can play it she says okay so we mm. we choose piece together <laughs> for the competition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what kind of a repertoire are you learning now apart from chopin no now i play uh, new pieces by rachmaninoff like rachmaninoff second sonata also his uh -huh. tableau, uh, tableau. And, um, a musical moment number six also i play yeah. so much scrubbing because i love scrubbing <laughs> yeah. ah, i, I played yeah, 24 yeah, yeah. preludes um, uh, three three days ago in germany uh, 24 preludes opus uh, 11 and also vals uh, also i played beethoven sonata mm. number 17 tempest yeah, and I play many oh. Rachmaninoff concertos, and uh, actually uh, I'm play very often first concerto by Chopin because everyone wants to mm. hear that, and uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, I yeah. think it's my favorite concerto. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. But I like the Beethoven third concerto also. Thank you, very thank, much. You. thank you. Yeah, the C minor. Yeah. <laughs> do you any more? Do you play any Mozart, uh, Mozart concert or Haydn? Yeah, yeah, I played the Haydn concerto when I was very little, and uh, I will play yeah. Mozart soon. Yeah, and the Great Hall of Moscow concert, like 20, 23rd concerto. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And concerto number 12. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I love Mozart and uh, Haydn also, like Beethoven or classical <laughs> composers. Ah, uh, yeah. So no, since uh, you must be so busy after the you know the Chopin competition, so uh, the girls of your age they must go out. They like to you know play. I don't know. They go out a lot. Do you go out with your friends? Also? Yeah, of course, of course, because I'm also a normal teenager. Yeah, so yeah. Of course, I'm quite busy. So and don't have so much time to go out. But sometimes I 
have time and I love to go out with my friends somewhere, maybe in the cinema or to work yeah. somewhere so like that. Yeah, they're like musical friends or they're not musicians? Actually, music, all music, my musician. friends are musicians, but I hope yeah. sometimes I will get more friends like no, not musicians. Yeah, but now yeah. I, I'm in this environment, so I have many friends musicians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in this Moscow conservatory, are there some foreigners also? They yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many foreigners. Yeah. Foreign, foreign. Like also Japanese, any uh, Oriental people? Uh, yes, uh, you know Miyu Shindo, she was my uh, great friend from... Sh she oh, who, what, what's her name? Miyu Shindo. She, ah, Miyu she, Shindo. Participated, uh -huh. uh, she was participated in Chopin competition. Ah, the, the late, she was wearing a dress with like a cross. The dress was I like a cross. I don't think so. I think... Yeah, she, she studied with oh, me no. one year in Central Music School and... Yeah. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, so <laughs> it was very interesting to uh, get friends with some with some other students yeah. from other countries. And uh, yeah, so you you have Japanese friends. I have, yeah, many. And yeah. yeah. And yeah apart from what is there like hobby? You like something you you like? Of, you like animals? Or? Yeah, I love animals. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, my my little dog has died uh, last year. But, oh. but uh, oh, no. I love animals and I love to um, do some sports. At least I have uh, some time. I go to the gym or just for a walk uh, because it's very important for musician to stay in a good shape mm. because you sit all the yeah. day. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Oh. And so do you like a, do you like do you like a weight lift? And you know, do you have like a muscle training? To be honest, I don't do muscle training for my hands because uh, yeah, oh. I feel like it, yeah, it could be dangerous. Yeah, it could be dangerous. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, only maybe uh, legs or my <laughs> stomach. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah. But of course, I think I mean. Um, Looking at my past, I think the teenager is the best time to memorize because the memory is the best when you like the younger the best. Yeah, and I true. think it's get worse and worse for memory. I think that when I was 18, I used to memorize so easily, but later it's more difficult. So yeah. I think now for you, it's like a best time to learn such a new pieces, right? Yeah. Everything you, you can learn so fast. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like, do you play any? Spanish music or Latin, Latin music? Since you're learning Spanish, do you play any Spanish music? Uh, when I was really young, I played Licorno Malagueña. It's a Spanish uh, Spanish yeah, yeah. piece. And also I played Rodriguez. Uh, also on, on uh, Clyburn competition, there was one piece uh, of Spanish composer. And oh, which, play, which one did you play? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Sigidilia the Diablo. Rodrigo? What, yeah. what, which Rodrigo piece? Rodrigo Sigdilia the Diabolo. Ah, oh, see, oh, really? Oh, yeah. I see, huh? It was the second, you play second round, I think. No, Granados, I, I haven't played yet, but <laughs> I would love to. No, I was, I was wondering that the, the Bojeska piece from Granados, mm -hmm. I think like the death and the, I think the last one, the death and the love, or this kind of piece, maybe, I think you'll play quite well and you like it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because right. you are very, your playing is sometimes, I like it, that very intense passion, you know, intense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, this kind of um, very intense piece is like, I, I like to hear you play <laughs> these pieces. So Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about like Ravel Debussy? Uh, Ravel Debussy, yeah, I played uh, all murals by Ravel. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah um, I love this uh, period of music and I love how they found a new harmonies in their music and I, I really love the sounds and Debussy I also like a lot. I also played at Cleveland competition, I guess so. <laughs> I mm -hmm. So do you, do you play the Hachaturian Concerto? Hachaturian Concerto? Not yet, yeah, but I know, I know it. I give it do you like to? Do you like? Yeah, it? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> because I think that piece is a sort of 
I think it suits you very much. And of course, yeah, to have Armenian vegetarian. <laughs> maybe, so. maybe one day, yeah, I will play. <laughs> yeah, and the beginning is so, so like, you know, that kind of beginning is very, I like the beginning. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's a long concert, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like 35 minutes or so. Yeah. But not everybody prays, but since you being half Armenian, maybe I think it is a very convincing piece for yeah, you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the, even the third movement. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if you know the, the American pianist, the old play, old American pianist, William Capel. Have you heard of his? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I heard of him. He, uh-huh. Yeah, I think he, he has this uh, recording of this Hachiturian Pontier, which mm. is quite impressive, which I like it very much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. but of course, it's really great. Mm. Really, in Japan, really great. Yeah, everybody plays the Russian piece, of course, the Rafael, <laughs> the Tekken, and the Tchaikovsky. Everybody always plays the most in the same repertoire. So I think sometimes it's a nice, it's a great to be, uh, great to give a change. Yeah. If you play Hachaturian, I think it will be quite impressive yeah. for all over the world, you know. Yeah, Do you ever put your hair like... Um, you know, like, um, how oh, it's like cool. a yeah, I know, I know. It's quite difficult to do that because they are so heavy. Yeah, but sometimes, sometimes I do it. <laughs> yeah, because I think, uh, yeah, and it must be very heavy, it's like a big pancake. It will be a very big piece, right? Yeah. But if you do it well, it will be very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. With a lot of uh, like a uh, you know, like a calm. Yeah. yeah. Like. Okay. <laughs> and it will be like if you had like a special Russian uh, design, you know, piece like yeah. opera. I think it, it will be a wonderful, like, uh, for, you know, <laughs> maybe Natalia could design another, you know, <laughs> okay. dress with this kind of a hair. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you must be, of course, you, you don't have any plan to cut your hair because it's very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, not, not yeah. Uh, this year's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the way you must be already, you're already used to this weight of this hair, <laughs> of your hair, right? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah. And how about the makeup? Do you always make up yourself? Um, does she give you any advice on the lips yes, and the I, eyeshadows? I, I, I have makeup by myself. Uh, but yeah. Sometimes I, you know, I, I didn't know how to do it. And I, I haven't seen yeah. any videos like how to do that. But uh, sometimes when I had some photo session or something, uh, there was some visagist and yeah. uh, make makeup artist. And uh, when they did the makeup for me, I learned how they make it. And after that, I do it for myself. And actually, I like this yeah. also because it's quite a part of art also. Like you yeah, paint, yeah, you paint yeah. It's true. And... Yeah, it's like a painting. It's yeah, it's an art, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah so and like you're very beautiful. So you can change it. You can change your image by this yeah. color and the lines of the, yeah, you know, the eye makeup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because in Japan, lots of girls are since all Japanese people have black is normal, so mm. uh, the girls tends to change change their color to like a uh, red, brown, I even see. to blonde, like yeah. your color. Yeah. But of course in uh, European countries, you know, they have, it's normal to have blonde, brunette, mm. black, you know, mm. they have varieties. Yeah. But since all the Japanese girls, they are black, I think they don't want to have the same yeah. as the others. So they want to change. Yeah. Yeah. But would you like to, do you like to change sometimes to other <laughs> color? Like a dark I, I, brown. I've, I've never changed my color, never in my life. But maybe one day, actually, I I love my color. But maybe one day I will cut it a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> you know. And, and how, is your mother brunette or she's blonde? Your mother. She's, she's like, the same like me. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. And your father? My father is uh, brunette, like real Armenian. You know. <laughs> I see, really, I see, I see. Yeah. So, uh, how, do you like cooking? Do you ever cook? Uh, I don't have so much time, but yeah, but when I go to somewhere, you know, I was in Liechtenstein uh, yeah. many times, it's like academy, yeah. and uh, students there are cooking by themselves. And yeah. I, I tried to cook something for myself, like pasta or omelette. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
What is like Armenian dish? I never tried Armenian dish. Oh, we have many. Yeah, but oh. I love Armenian bread. You know, it's called lavash. <laughs> oh, how is it? It's it's oh. long and it's not yeah. like usual bread. I love the taste so much. <laughs> oh, is it that salty or it's without taste? It's a little bit salty. No, they, it has it has taste. Yeah, very very nice. And is it like a hard, like a bit like a cracker, or it's like a soft, like a normal toast? It's just quite soft. It's yeah. soft. Yeah, soft. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so does your mother cook this uh, uh, no, Armenian it, bread? At no, home? it's 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 very it's very hard to cook. Yeah, but when we go to Armenia, we always try this, and also yeah. other other dishes. And I love Armenia so much because uh, it's very, very kind people there, very warm, and the food is amazing. <laughs> oh, I see. Actually, I never been to Russia, so of course, especially Armenia. Mm -hmm. I, I know through Hachaturian when I was reading his uh, pieces, his uh, you know biography and even his opera. Mm -hmm. I I think it's a very exotic um, place which I feel the mm -hmm. country. Yeah, yeah. You should come yeah, one day. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you go for vacation sometime? Uh, this year, no. This year, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, last yeah. year. Also. So, of course, this this summer will be a great change for you because you change, you finish your high school, yeah. and now you just do all the music. Your career is just piano, right? I mean, you're out of the. Yeah. So are you you must be very happy to finish the high school. Yeah, but I need to go to the conservatory stuff. now, and there are also some subjects. Yeah, so I need to, in conservatory. You, yeah. So. Oh, you have test. Sorry. <laughs> you have test to graduate the test for the yes. academy. Yes. Yes. And I need to pass exams to the conservatory next. Ah, yeah. uh, so. I see. Is it like the exam exam for the graduating? You have to perform also. Yes, also every subject like ensemble or concert master class, also mythologics, uh, uh, literature, everything. Harmony, yeah. etc. Uh, ensemble. Do you play any? What's your favorite piece? Like quartet or trio? You know, it was a. Uh, Big experience for me after Chopin competition because I was asked yes. to play in Serbia, Frank Quintet. I was asked Frank, to, Frank, yeah, two days before the concert, two days. Like uh, my friend called me, oh. my friend called me and uh, asked me, Eva, could you come please to Serbia? I said, of course, but when? <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> I see. Okay, but I, I've never played this piece before. Yeah, so uh, it was uh, quite a long night for me. <laughs> yeah, I learned. So you learned it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I played oh, it. In two days? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's great. So you are really young. So you play the Frank and the, the Quintet and also Shunitke in two weeks? Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm sure you, you, you're part of extend. It will keep expanding more and more. <laughs> so I love Frank Quintet really much. Oh. <laughs> You know the main thing I think if you if you love this music you you study it fast. If you don't like it you, you study it really long time. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, you totally agree. I think the first important thing is even if you have this love yeah. for the piece. Yes. And if you have it, it it will just go easily. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, the it's same as a person, you know, if you like somebody you it just the time will flow, and if you don't like the person, I think the time you feel is so long, right? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. And are you going for vacation, or you have concert already coming up in August? I have, uh, yeah, many concerts in August, also in U USA, uh, in Colorado, Odyssey Art Piano Festival, uh, also in yeah. Croatia, and also somewhere. You know, I, I don't remember the dates. My mom remembers everything. <laughs> so now she's, uh, your mom is a manager, so she travels all, all the time with you? Not all the time. Now I was alone in Germany, in yeah. Spain and in, in Armenia. So. Yeah, yes. Well, um, I mean, I feel very young, but if you, if you want to have, do you have any wish to get married to Armenian or, or foreigner? Do you have any? 
if your favorite, I don't know, nationality, if you, get, if you fall in love, the nationality doesn't matter. <laughs> Would you like to get married to a musician actually, or no musician? Actually, I have a boyfriend, he's foreign, <laughs> he's not Russian. Yeah. Yeah. So, is he, um, is he a musician? Yes, yes, also a pianist. Oh, so is, is he a pianist or other, he plays other instruments? Pianist, instrument? pianist, yeah. <laughs> oh, so do you, I mean, do you, um, give me be discussion between your boyfriend about the music or you don't talk <laughs> Yeah, much of about course, music. because it's a main theme for both of us. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. So, do you play, do you, do you piano with him? We played a duo yeah. for ensemble when he was at school. Ah. Yeah, we played the Arinsky suite. Yeah, but ah, Arinsky. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah. Oh, is it two piano or four hands? Two piano. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah, so it's nice to uh, maybe it's a um, good combination to play with uh, your boyfriend in you know, the duo. You know, yeah. because it's difficult to play a, a, this duo or four hands with somebody you don't like. You know, so I think it's very important to play. Yeah with whom you play yeah, these uh, pieces. But you know, this, when you go to play a duo with somebody, you don't think about this person, what relationship um, you have, because you know, when yeah. you sit on the piano, you are working and it's your profession. Yeah. It doesn't matter with whom you are playing. So uh, yeah, at yeah. least I think so. So I don't really think about the uh, Maybe I'm not so good with this person or not. So uh, it's, really, it's, I it's see. Not a, you think so? Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes I think like when you're playing uh, the same piece, maybe the other person feels that the phrase is this way, and I feel the phrase should interpret this way. Maybe if you have a different yeah. kind of idea for interpreting a phrase, I think you have to, one has to one has to say you have to decide which one. Yeah, so I you, think everyone has you know, the same their own yeah. uh, opinion and yeah the same yeah, piece yeah. to discuss everything yeah and to find the way that everybody will love to yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but well so um i hope you'll come to japan very soon do you yeah. have any plan to Me come too. to concert actually i i had plans i i was invited to play in japan in april but unfortunately uh, it postponed and uh, yeah, but I hope that next year or maybe even sooner I, I will be able to come to Japan because I know many Japanese people and I love the culture uh, and yeah. uh, I really hope to come there. Yeah, yeah, it was maybe postponed with this because of the corona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so well, I'm sure next year um, they will invite you again. I hope to see you. So, if, please give a um, could you give Eva, could you give message to these uh, readers for this magazine for yeah. the young pianist? I think any message I have a message for everyone who studies piano and music. Yeah, and it's just to love what you're doing, like really love, not just playing exercises to show your technique, you know, and mm. not to compare yourself with other musicians just because everyone has their own way and just to believe that everything will be good. <laughs> so thank you Eva, so I'm hoping to see you very soon. Thank you Mary, it was really nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so say hello to uh, say hello to you, Natalia, which I was very impressed that they said she's also a designer for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank